I'm Stanley Bach, and I'll be presenting the paper, Improved Geometric Path Enumeration for Verifying Rayleigh Neural Networks. This paper is about the neural network verification problem. A neural network is a function where if you give it a concrete set of inputs, you can get a concrete set of outputs. So the question for the verification problem, at least in the open loop case, is if you have a set of possible inputs, for example, ranges on each of the concrete inputs, what are the outputs that are possible for the network? And you can do this exactly in certain cases, and this is what we analyze in this paper. We build upon a recently proposed method, the star set analysis method, and we show that at least for the ACAS XE networks, we can verify each of the benchmark properties in under 10 minutes. And in certain cases, this is 10 to 100 times faster the, than the original algorithm. And this is through a series of optimizations that we'll explore in the, in the talk. An abstraction-based framework for neural network verification by Itzhak El-Bokher, Justin Gottlich, and Guy Katz. Deep neural networks over, uh, overtake state-of-the-art benchmarks in many tasks, but are vulnerable to input perturbations. Hence, are dangerous to be combined in critical systems like, like self-driving cars. In order to guarantee safety, verification tools are applied and prove or disprove if a given property holds in a given network. Verification is an NP-complete problem and, and actually is exponential in the number of nodes in the network. In our work, we over-approximate the given network with a smaller one and enable to prove or disprove the property you know, in the original network using the smaller network. For that sake, we leverage the known abstraction refinement mechanism to neural networks, where abstraction is over-approximation and refinement is over-approximation tightening as much as needed. According to our experiments, our work significantly improves the verification performance. Thank you, and see you in the, pre in the presentation. Convolutional neural network is a breakthrough in the field of deep learning and is widely used in practice. Although convolutional neural networks are powerful, they are vulnerable to adversarial attacks where slightly changing the book can lead to a huge change at the book result. Therefore, to be able to use convolutional neural networks in steady critical applications like self-driving car or cancer diagnosis, we need to have methods that can formally verify or certify the robustness of convolutional neural networks. In this talk, I am going to present the image star approach for verifications of deep convolutional neural networks. I'm going to introduce the concept of image star and how to do image star to do uh, reachable set computations for different layers in the convolutional neural networks. And then I'm gonna show the evaluations of the image star approach in comparison with the existing approaches. Hi, I'm Dong Xu. I will be presenting systematic generation of diverse benchmarks for DNA verification at the main conference of CAP20. For the past three years, it has emerged more than 20 DNN verification algorithms. Although it's a good sign that the field is advancing quickly, it also causes a huge problem. That is, it's very difficult to cross-compare different DNN verification algorithms. To solve this problem, we came up with an approach that can systematically generate diverse benchmarks that challenge these algorithms on different aspects of the verification problems. As a result, our tool is able to generate benchmarks that can not only differentiate various DNA verification algorithms, but also reveal their advantages and drawbacks. Please come to see our full presentation if you are interested. Deep neural networks have been increasing use in steady critical applications like self-driving cars, uh, autonomous aircrafts, and unmanned underwater vehicles. So, in such applications, the failures of deep neural networks components can cause the loss of human lives and money. Therefore, it is an urgent need for tools and methods that can formally verify the safety and the robustness of deep neural networks, as well as the neural networks based control system where the neural networks interact with the physical world. So, in this talk, I'm going to present NNV. Uh, a verification tools for deep neural networks and learning enabled cyber physical system. I'm going to summarize the main features supported in NNV and show a quick demo how to use NNV to formally verify uh, a safety of a FIFO neural networks as well as a neural network control system. So, replicate systems data is replicated or copied in multiple locations across the world. 
Replicated systems provide many advantages. They can cater to a geo-distributed client base, provide uniform low latency, are always available, and have built-in fault tolerance. Unfortunately, programming on replicated systems is very hard because of various factors such as concurrent accesses, arbitrary reordering of updates, and a number of weak consistency models, we get non-deterministic and unintuitive behavior. Having library implementations for common DOS data structures can be very useful in simplifying programming for replicated systems. In this paper, we consider the problem of migrating library implementations from shared memory systems to replicated systems. Unfortunately, these carefully crafted implementations, which have been verified to be correct in shared memory systems, fail in a number of ways when migrated to replicated systems. Therefore, in this paper, we propose for the first time appropriate semantics for such library implementations under arbitrary consistency models, new specifications for libraries such as stacks and queues, which are specially designed for replicated systems, and an automated bounded verification framework. For more details, please join our talk on July the 21st. Thank you. The design of the civil verifier for concurrent programs follows two principles. First, civil advocates systematic proofs over multiple layers of refinement, instead of one-shot monolithic proofs. Second, civil represents both low-level implementations and high-level abstractions as structured programs, without resorting to transition systems, which are inadequate for user interaction. In this paper, we present the foundation for refinement reasoning over concurrent programs with structure control flow, which is the basis of a new design and implementation of Sybil. Concretely, we present a new general and modular refinement proof rule that enables previously impossible refinement proofs. Refinement is supported by yield invariance, a new powerful form of invariance that enables significantly simpler and more efficient proofs. And finally, both refinement checking and yield invariance are supported by a linear permission system that establishes free invariance over program variables from different local scopes. Hey, Rupsha. So I have an idea for a model that will enable parameterized verification for distributed systems. Mm, cool. Uh, does it have broadcasts and does it have uh, global guards for global synchronization? Yes. Hmm. That's never going to be decidable. Ah, uh, I have a decidability result. Great. Do you have an implementation? Uh, no, the complexity is too high. Hmm. Well, then you know what you have to do. Back to the drawing table. Cutoffs. So, if you want to know more about our model, the desirability results, or the cutoffs, then tune in to our talk in the concurrency session on Tuesday, July 21st. Replication is widely used to build reliable and scalable systems. The journey starts from strong consistency, where all replicas have the same totally ordered request that trivially provides convergence, integrity, and recency. However, the lack of availability and poor performance push people to use other weaker notions of consistency. They provide a higher performance and convergence property, but no integrity and recency guarantees. Recent work use hybrid models to preserve both convergence and integrity, but they are oblivious to recency, and object states can get arbitrarily still. The recency property bounds the stillness of states. Our project revives recency and provides convergence and integrity at the same time. We observe that recency property not only guarantees bounded stillness, but also reduces the required synchronization for the other properties. If you want to know more, join us for the talk. Hi, I'm Ken McMillan, and I will be presenting a tool paper on IV, which is a verification tool that's specialized to distributed algorithms. Now, the main goal of IV is to try to provide as much automation in the proof as possible, while at the same time preserving the key properties of predictability, stability, and transparency. To do this, IV provides support for decidable reasoning using SMT solvers and model checkers. So I'll be overviewing the features of IV and describing how those features are put together to do efficient proofs of executable code for distributed algorithms. So I hope you'll join me. Hi, my name is Matt Chantemel, and this is a preview for our paper, Automated and Scalable Verification of Integer Multipliers. Verification of multipliers is notoriously difficult. All the existing methods struggle with multipliers implemented with 
with the encoding and embolus tree algorithms. They either do not scale, are too design specific, or they present some other challenges. We propose a different approach. Our rewrite based method is more efficient and more widely applicable. We have tested it for over 75 different benchmarks with successful results. It scales much better than the other state of the art tools. Our tool is six times faster for 64 by 64 bit multipliers and 40 times faster for 1000 by 1000 multipliers as compared to the fastest tool available. We implemented and verified our method on a fair improving system ACL2. This makes sure that we can reliably verify these designs and give a soundness guarantee. Check out our presentation for more details. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. This is a teaser for our tools paper titled Full, a Python embedded domain specific language for metaprogramming portable hardware verification components. So in 2019, Hennessy and Patterson won a Turing Award and declared that we are entering a new golden age for computer architecture. This means there's an immediate demand for improvements in hardware design and verification technology. In recent years, we've seen the proliferation of hardware generators, which greatly improve the productivity of the design process, but incur non-trivial costs in the verification process. The team at Google building the Edge TPU found that the design productivity gains from their generator technology were offset by losses in design verification. To address these productivity issues, we developed Fault, a hardware verification language that raises the level of abstraction, uses metaprogramming for increased flexibility, and is portable for easy tool migration. Check out our full-length talk and read the paper for more details. Thanks. This work is about a new gate extraction or definition extraction technique for propositional logic. So we're interested in the following question. Given a propositional formula phi, a variable y, and a set x of variables, is y defined by x? We show that we can reduce this to calling a SAT solver which will then either conclude that the variable y is not defined by x or return a definition of y in terms of x. This can be used to pre-process quantified Boolean formulas in the following way. If there is a y in the existential variables here that is defined in terms of the universal variables, then we can take this definition and plug it back into the matrix and thus simplify the instance. Hello everyone. Let me tell you why you need to stay up late or wake up early tomorrow because we are going to talk about two problems of counting and sampling. Given a Boolean formula, the problem of counting seeks to estimate the number of solutions of the formula while the problem of sampling wants to ensure that the probability a solution is output is one over the total number of solutions. In past decade or so, we have seen the uh, rise of hashing based techniques that reduce counting and sampling to CNF XR solving, where, which are the formulas that are conjunction of CNF and XR constraints. The primary contribution of our work is efficient techniques for CNF XR solving. And does it help? Well, turns out yes. If we combine the state of art uh, approximate counter approximacy 3 with our framework BERT 2, we can solve 77 more instances. So that's a good enough reason for you to come and uh, learn more about how we do it. Hi, I'm Chao Huang. I'm very glad to introduce our tool solve for safety analysis of weekly hard systems. In hard real-time system, the deadline of sample to competition should be met for any step. It will cause overly conservative consumption on resources. Thus, Weekly hard systems are proposed to tolerate bounded deadline misses, which is always described by MK constraint. It will save more resources and provide more configuration flexibility. Our tool saw tries to solve the safety verification problem of weekly hard systems and provide a safe initial state set. So is very intuitive and easy to use. You can get a result simply in two steps. It can also be used for either offline analysis or online monitoring the system state. If you have any questions, please be free to email me. Thanks. Sequire, a scalable tool for semi-quantitative analysis of chemical reaction networks. Chemical reaction networks are a high-level and versatile language for modeling and analysis of biochemical systems. The semantics is given by continuous time Markov chains. The analysis is challenging because of the probabilistic behaviors of the systems, the state space explosion, and the great differences between the rates. 
Sequoia deals with these challenges by implementing the semi-quantitative abstraction and analysis proposed at CAF-19. The abstraction yields small models, easy to analyze, and the analysis focuses on the most probable behavior, iteratively exploring less probable behavior. Thus, the tool features unprecedented scalability, robustness, allows for a flexible and precise analysis, yields interpretable and explainable results, and introduces mean simulations, a convenient way to capture the typical behaviors of the system.